That's dope. Uh, but uh, we we'll go on to Discord. So those first two codes are the Splashomatic, uh, provided to us by Gabby Magpie. Um, so we will take a look at the first one first. So Bublub. Um, they're saying the first one is a loss on o offense. Uh, the second is a victory on defense. Uh, the defense game was dominant throughout, but we lost a signal near the end which was frustrating. The offense game just felt that we w like we weren't able to get in much at all, but our s but Sour did manage to grab a signal at some point. Uh, overall, I'd say this map is much more viable for defense than Sturgeon was. The removal of the overhangs makes it much harder for to zone people out of mid. Yes. Which is like, you kind of need to be able to, to stay in mid, right? You don't want to be able to zone people out of mid too much because then the defending team is not ha gonna have anything to fight on. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep going. Let's see. So they have one splash matic and one gold air spray. So let's see what they're doing. And the kingdom. So like. I don't know why, I feel like uh, people who use the splash matic usually get their crabs really early for some reason. I do not manage to get them get it as early as they do. Um okay. Okay. Okay, first thing okay, first thing I'm noticing. You're doing a lot of squid flopping and not a lot of painting. Really you're you're getting dangerously close to that roller right there. It was about to roll over you and uh I think you're you're trying to move around too much, and I don't know why you're doing it, because doing the squid flops like that from left to right in your ink, it's not making you hide any better than just sitting in your ink, and like, because you're gonna pop out of the ink at some point, right? You're popping out like left and right, so you're visible, so they know that you're in this general area, and it's not like you have lots of teammates around, so they're gonna know there's one dude on Team Spicy over there, if if they go into that direction, they're just gonna find you, maybe your teammate, and that's gonna be easy to dispatch. You're just telling them, I'm here, which is not very useful. And also, you're not spending much time painting, and especially in, in Tricolor, you need to paint a lot. Because, just think about it, you're two versus the other teams, so you're two versus six, technically. Because the other the other six members, you know, they're all gonna put out paint that is not gonna be your color. So if you want to win, you need to be painting all of the freaking time. You cannot stop painting. You cannot. You do not have time to do some squid flops. You you need to paint. Especially what you need to paint, what you need to focus on painting is the the team. I mean, the defending team's side. Like you know that whole right side of the map. That's what you need to focus on. And Team Sour right now needs to focus on painting um, their right side of the map. So that would mean the spawn of the other two Team Sweet members. Um, so yes, you, you definitely want to make it harder to for Team Sweet to get in. Like, the, the zone around the pillar that you're nearby right now, that's something that you need to care about and paint a lot. To make it harder for Team Sweet to get near mid, right? If you guys secure the paint around the pillar and then Team Sour also secures the paint around the pillar, it's gonna make it really hard for Team Sweet to move around and get to mid. Because if they want to get to mid, they need to go near or around the pillars. Um, so yes. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't know why you're not just holding down ZR, yeah? Like, you're moving too much. Like, why are you moving so much? There's no reason to do that. You're safe, you're on a ledge. Stop flip-flopping. It is useless. Here, here's the thing, here's the thing. Doing more actions per second does not make you do better actions per second. Do you, do you see what I mean? And, like, I think whenever you play the Splash, you're kind of doing that aggro mentality. You're, like, you're trying to play fast. But here, look, right? You did stuff fast, and you got in the middle of, of enemy ink right there. Um, you, you nearly died, and, 
just... It's, it's hard to explain. Well, that was not going back enough. Hello, frog. Hello, frog. I'm doing some battery, but nobody's tuning in yet. <laughs> People are saying everybody's but busy splatting and festing. Yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, low battery. I need to charge it. That's right. Uh, do you want to play so, Splatfest Battle? Uh, for now, I'm doing the VOD review. Maybe when I'm finished, then we can we can do. Uh, if you have some games to send me, uh, please go ahead. I will review. Let me them. look through my battle replays then. Okay, so that was the first game. Let's take a look at the results. You got five. Uh, yes, definitely feels like the error spray game managed to do a lot. Also, you guys got a lot of deaths. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at your second one on the fence. And so here's the thing that's cool about uh, tricolor battles in this podcast is that you can play on both sides. So it's gonna be easier for you yourself to learn, like all by yourself, how to play better as either attacking or defending, uh, whichever you don't ha you're not used to. Because you can play, for example, if you're struggling with attacking, as I think you are right now, because you probably chose, pro you, you were probably on Team Big Man uh, in the prior splat test. So I, I ask you. Uh, so if you're struggling with attacking, basically just see what you're doing great now as the defending team and what you're preventing the attacking team of doing. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, rather, if you are playing matches where the attacking team wins, do the same when you attack. I, I guess, yeah. And yeah, so okay, here's the thing I figured out by playing by myself is... Um, you, like, and I think that's what you're gonna be doing right now. It's like you kill two people on Team Sweet. Now you're focusing on Team on Team Sour, and you're you're gonna be switching back and forth. Um, basically, you, kill, you you do have four v three two, like four people on Team Spicy, right? Uh, fighting off two people on Team Sour that's coming. You kill both of them, and then basically the whole side of the map is not gonna be something you need to care about. So now you're gonna focus on Team Sweet that's coming in. And you're gonna again have a 4v2 uh, winning, and then you just alternate. You go back and forth on either side of the map, like focusing your attention. Um, and for that, you need to be in the middle and have strong control of the zone around the pillars. And as you did with the crab earlier, you're firing towards that direction that you're firing in right now. And this is basically your game plan. And so, as the attacking team, what you would need to do is secure that same zone, right? Like that same zone that the, um, that the defending team wants to secure. So let me, how do I get in close? I think I get in close. Oh yeah, my stick doesn't work. Um, so you, you want to secure those areas, like this one and then this one. And as the attacking team, what you want to do is kind of the same. You want to approach there and you want to ink enough of there that you can step on that area and then paint over that side of so that people have a harder time respawning, right? If you ink that side while being there, um, the defending team, when they spawn, they're gonna need to go straight to the middle, right there. And here is not a good place to fight, basically. And so if both teams just, uh, both attacking teams just secure those areas and paint over here, all the way around over there, um, it's gonna be easier it's gonna make it harder for the defending team, basically. Um, so let me get back to you. If I can find you, I will find you. I will not find you. I have found you, okay. So yeah, see how the enemy team is just ap approaching right now? They're kind of trying to get at you head on. Um, like getting straight up into your face and it's not working because you're ready. You have your guns out. You have your crap tank. No, it's not gonna work. 
Oh, there's another Splatter Shot Nova player on my team. Okay. Okay, so we reviewed that. Um, let me check the other code. So what do we got? So, next codes we have are from nothing card uh, from Ang. Let's go. Um. So let me put them in the app. Goody, and we have the second one. Goody. So. Let's download them. Ouch. Maps and modes have been updated. Those are from Ang. We have one with the Zinc Mini, the, the, the Mini Splatling, and then we have one with the Flings app. Uh, for Team Suite on Defender, I think both of them. So let's take a look at it. Um, Zinc Mini first, let's go. about those games. Also, Frog, uh, you feel free to send your games uh, whenever you can. Okay. So after those, we're gonna be dry. Um, what's happening? I'm seeing some green ink behind you. I feel like you're kind of too aggressive with the green I mean, I don't know, because I'm not used to the to the link. Um, I'm more used to the regular mini spot link, which doesn't have a big bubble. So maybe you can get more close. I feel like you're getting maybe too close, because your range is you have lots of range. I don't think you need to get in that close. You mainly want to be focusing your attention back and forth. That's exactly what I've been doing, and it works great. Um, like go on one side, j just paint basically. Y if you just paint that area, you don't need to go much farther. Because here's the thing: in this, uh, in tricolor, you'd rather stay in mid and hold a great position, and just paint a little bit over to the side of the enemy, and not go too far. Um, that way, you can c you you don't forget to stay in mid and secure that area. It's better to p to paint a little bit towards the enemies, even if you don't go too far into their base but still keep a strong hold on mid then go and ink their whole base but then you you forget about mid and then the other team just gets it and then it's hard for you to respawn and, and get back um also one thing I, I saw there is that you were all three focusing on team spicy when right now they've got one down already and you should probably be spreading out uh two on either side trying to defend against either team feels like you guys are too synchronized whenever you're done with the with the two other I mean because you only killed one team spicy so there was still one and if you guys are all shifting your focus back to uh, team sour then it's like you're gonna leave one team spicy guy behind your back and that's it yeah here okay here's okay I'm noticing something bad in your gameplay I think um you you get too close to the enemies and you're trying to jump to Here's one thing I hate people saying. They say, oh yeah, I'm jumping because it gives me more range. Or they say, oh, I'm jumping because it gives me more mobility. Or I'm jumping because it, it, it allows me to evade the shots. Yes, maybe it can do that a little bit. Like, just like a little bit of spice on top. But that's like, 
if you want to evade shots, the best way is just to stand far away. Especially when you got the mini splatling, which has like more range than a splatter shot. Uh, and, and most regular shooters. It's, it's got, I think, on par with the 52 or, or a little bit more, I'm not sure. Um, but like looking at the team comps right now, you got the roller, you got the brush, you got the end zap, you got the big swig. De you definitely got more range than most of them. Uh, maybe not the big swig. Uh, but, you, but I mean, no, I think, yeah, you should outrange the big swig also. And I don't see why you were straight like smack dab in the middle of the map. Like, let me, let me actually look at that uh, interaction right there. But I do not know why you were so close at that moment. Um, like here, right? They're getting super close to you. Like that roller was right on you. And I don't know why you're standing there. You were just standing there trying to aim at him. And it, since you panicked, you kind of tried to jump. And what that did is basically nothing. What that did actually is prevent you from moving. Because since you were in the air, you couldn't like walk nor swim to get away. Which is what you should have been doing. And at that time... Uh, instead of like jumping or trying to aim, like those two guys were way too close to you on the run there. I would have just swimmed back a little bit and started charging again and firing at them from near the pillar here, right? Not stay here. Because like, I mean, the see, like it's a whole mess right now. Um, th that would like, that was not a good position to stay in. Anyways, let me go back to you. Um, just mind your, mind your range, I guess. It's, it, I feel like people are trying to get in too close, because, I mean, the closer you are, the easier it's going to be to do the kill, right? Stop jumping, stop jumping, I stop jumping, why are you jumping so much, I swear. Did, did you, it, why did you jump? There is no reason to jump, stop jumping, please. Stop jumping, why did you jump there, why? Why are you jumping so much? You need to stop jumping. Why? Why are you jumping? Why? Why? Why are you jumping? Literally, why? I, I have no clue. Maybe it's because it makes your aim worse and spread out more? I guess. But, like, you could just, like, turn your camera. That also works. I'm just confused. I don't know. Jumping makes you... Because here's the thing. All... Of... Wait. I... That was the, the wrong button. Uh, all the, like, kind of advantages I've listed that the jump... That people usually say that the jump does. One of the big disadvantages and drawbacks that... I guess there are multiple, actually. Because, like, those little spices of advantages, they're outshined by the disadvantages that jumping gives you the first one oh hello new follower it's gabby magpie hello knowing ang it's probably a bad habit from playing nautilus yeah probably <laughs> they do play nautilus because nautilus wants to go in their ink and then well jump out of the ink to be more mobile but, the, but that's the thing with the with the mini splatling it is it has very fast walking speed uh, it's the fastest walking weapon when it shoots, so it really it doesn't want to because yeah Here's the thing when you jump you're slower than when you walk So you're actually staying more still by jumping and being more of a of a sitting duck If you jump than if you don't and here's another thing if you jump You're actually making it easier for people to aim over the ledge because you see that ledge here the little ridge That's like right here um, Yeah if, if there's someone down there that's trying to aim up, if you're sitting on the ledge, if you're just like, just walking on it, you're like, you're, the lower part of your body is going to be covered by the ledge. So people are going to have a hard time shooting at you. If you jump, you're going to like be over the part of the ledge that covers your body. So it's going to make it easier for people to actually aim at you. So jumping makes you l less mobile. It makes you an easier target, and also it makes you, well, less mobile, I guess is what I wanted to say. But especially for the Zinc Mini, it makes it even less mobile, which is not good. Um... Uh, now you're playing the flings, I guess. 
the flings out. Frog says, I don't know if I would stay here too much and use so much of the long... Okay, well that was lucky. Because cause you're using the long flicker kind of a close... It feels like you're pushing a lot. I mean, it's working. I'm not complaining. Yeah, I... I mm, okay, you're getting some kills. So I don't have any complaints. But just watch the map. Watch the map. I don't know what you're doing there. You're, I think your attention should be more focused on the, the center of the map and uh, painting it. To make it harder for enemies to come. Okay. You're getting some nice kills though, like you're doing very good. And I guess, I guess, looking at the team composition, uh, Team Green has way, way slower weapons. So, I, uh, like, you going out there and trying to slay them, that actually, looking at the team comp, that could be a smart play to, to do. Like, yeah, yeah, they're really slow. Very predictable. And yeah, I think if anything, like, if you're were to place down ink mines, I would probably put them more closer to Team Purple. Just because their weapons are faster moving. And that it would basically mark them and that would make it easier for you. I don't know how you're surviving all of those interactions. Okay. Oh! Oh, you got them with the... Okay, yeah. I like having the two in that location. Actually, yeah, because if they're getting to the to the ultra signal, and like they're gonna g have to go through that bridge most likely, and they're not gonna be able to avoid it because they're, I mean, the ultra signal is literally gonna stop them in the animation. So they're gonna have to take the the two damage. I guess those were the two games that you had. Um, well. D Frog, do you have any games? Oh, wait, we have actually... We have some games from Rick Jones, I forgot. Uh, some bow points. Good. Let's take a look at them. How many? Oh, we have three. That's good. Um, so let me, let me enter the codes in the app. So, last code is gonna be entered right now. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, okay. And now we go back, and uh, we go back in, and we download the codes. Three codes. Okay. So, three bullet point games. It feels like you guys have a lot of uh, matches in your in your same team. I guess it's because you you guys are team sweet, probably, and there are more team sweet people. Balls. Okay, thank you for this uh, very useful and cool interaction. Um, so you are team attacking, okay? I like the thing for now, it's pretty good. Okay, nice shots. Oh, you're running um, thermal, that's good. Inkjet! Oh, it's been a while since I've seen the inkjet. It, feel, it feels very cool. Like, just seeing you use it, it feels like a cool special to use. I don't know, it feels it's cool and swag and stylish. And epic. Which is, it's probably not 
when I would use it. But it felt cool. Anyways, um, yeah, definitely focus on painting a bit. Uh, your teammate is gonna die. Okay, this is like the fifth time I've disconnected because someone, is, what is it, you know, got kicked because someone disconnected early on. In like the past 30 minutes. Seriously, how can you even play this game? I uh, uh, earlier you were throwing a um, busy bomb, but you didn't charge it fully. I am wondering how useful. It okay, okay. Now I, I I see the use now because you kind of use it to paint on your feet. Uh, that was pretty useful. Um, but yeah, otherwise I don't know. Maybe it's just my maniac brain that just wants to charge it fully before sending it. Otherwise it doesn't feel correct. Uh, but I I definitely probably need to look into it. Um, to why and when you would use that. Ooh, 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 bucket. Got some range. Okay. Uh, currently at 2v2. Definitely not the right time to advance for your teammate. They should probably back off. Start painting uh, to prepare a push whenever you two guys are together. Um, where are they? Oh, they're going for it. Ow. Yeah, it feels to me like you're trying to go in when it's not really painted correctly right now on your side. You should probably paint before dropping down. Uh, let me go back to you. Because yeah, it's it's very hard to stay in that area. Basically here, you get the high ground, right? In that area, you have the high ground to paint from. In um, their side here, if they're, if they're holding that side, they've got like kind of some high ground over that place. Not too much not as much as you that's for sure so they're a little bit more unsafe and also if you want to you can go over to that side uh, over on that block if you want to paint and have a little bit more high ground but paint closer uh, basically do not go down when it's not painting correctly just, just, having paint beforehand is a good thing and you have uh, two spots where you can stand one that is a little bit closer uh, as you can see on the left side of the map so do consider it uh, did you have any comments about this full point as attacker lost got one signal okay Bull point as defender lost I mean got one signal wasn't the signal gotten like right at the end there when it was useless like here's the thing if the match is ending uh, whenever it's like at the end of the match like 30 seconds Do not bother going for the ultra signal because if even if you get it You're probably gonna die from it. So like you're gonna have to respawn um, The ultra signal is easily painted over by the defending team. That's it's the, the, Here's a thing to consider the ultra signal is not something that is gonna paint all by itself It just paints a little bit like really it's not much, but it's enough to help you fight in that area if you get what I mean. It's like assist paint. Um, but if you're not there fighting and making use of the paint that's on the ground by the sprinkler, uh, it's, it's not gonna be any use. Um, the sprinkler is really only there to paint at your feet while you're fighting. That's the main use. Um, I don't know why the inkjet feels so cool when you pop it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> but yes, uh, this, do not do not think the street player is gonna carry the game or like thinking at the last second is gonna do anything. It's not gonna do. It's gonna literally nothing. Um, you should probably focus more on whenever you see that oh clock is ticking down. There's 30 seconds left. You should focus uh, you and your teammate on staying alive and uh, painting as much as you can uh, while you still have some time left. Because um, actually, here's the thing. I don't think the map is that big. No, I actually might be. But here's the thing. I managed to win multiple times as an attacker uh, while the other attackers had two sprinklers and the defending team basically had like four members. So like two people can outpaint uh, six people and two sprinklers, which is just wow. And it's not that hard to do. It's you just need to be very uh, coordinated, I guess. Uh, it's 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 not too hard. 
it's things go by pretty fast in in Star Four. Um, so yeah, I don't know why I was talking about that because we were mentioning attacking team while watching a defending team match, but it's fine. I'm just giving tips. Doesn't matter. Ah yeah, because um, because the ultra signal, yes. So yeah, that's the thing. You don't care about the ultra signal. It it's not gonna pay much, and yeah, yeah. Pro pro of my point, we won two times when the when the other attacking team had the sprinklers because the sprinklers did literally zero zero nothing, nothing. Like you, you can actually see it on the map visually whenever someone will get the sprinkler, you can see that. Um, I mean, you'll see the trace that it makes. It's not that big. It's like it's it's a little circle. It actually has the same pitfalls as um, the regular sprinklers have, where they don't paint on themselves and they just paint around them, and the radius is not that big, right? It's just it's 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 it paints in a circle. It's kind of weird. But this one is a big circle, but it has a big empty hole in in the middle. Wait, I didn't meant to do that. Okay, okay. Let's go back, let's go back. Let me go back, let me go back, please. Let me go back. Let me go back, no, no, no. Okay, uh, we're back, we're back. And I guess we look at the last game. And this is uh, defending again. Let, let me focus on the game uh, this time. And give you tips. Defending team! You guys are matching against yourselves a lot. We- I- I never match against my own team. We- we just have too many- Too many of you guys to fight anyways. Nothing to add. Pretty good pain. You guys, you guys got a lot of turf things also. If you look at, oh yeah, green team is just rushing in, and they're not doing very good. Wait, how do? Okay, it's kind of confusing. They got machine and custom sploosh. So I, I feel like they might want to have. They, they're kind of the type to rush in maybe more. So I mean, it definitely feels like exactly what they're doing. Probably this push. Why are you getting so close? There was no reason. Like getting so close means that you're leaving uh, the mid open to being rushed, and this is no, no good. You want to defend the uh, ultra signal. Just st stand in there, especially as a spot room. You just want to stay in a safe spot and use your your massive amount of pressure that you can put from all of your bullets in order to. Why are you getting there? This is so risky. This is so risky. I don't think it's worth, like, here you're kind of like killing them, I mean, okay, they snipe you anyways, so yeah, the question is, was that really useful? I mean, you ho you held them off, but couldn't you also hold them off, instead of holding them off while you both are in their base, you could hold them off while you both are near the pillar, because that way you're near your teammates. You're also ready at any time to look back and focus on the other team, and uh, you're just generally less vulnerable by being in the middle of their ink. Um, I do, I, there's no reason to get out of mid. Like, literally, no reason. Because here's the thing, here's the thing. The best strategy, whenever you're on defending team, is to have your the four people on your team focus on uh, team... On one attacking team, on one side of the map first, then since it's a 4v2, you're gonna win, right? You're gonna dispatch the other two members. Maybe you get one killed on your team. It's fine. You can. You, they're gonna respawn, and you're still like three people. And then whenever the the two on one side of the map are spotted, you don't need to care about that side of the map. You look at the other side. 
the other two attacking people are gonna come in but you're ready you've got like either four people or three people against two and again you splat them easy um and then while the while you while they're killed the other ones are gonna respawn so it's always gonna be a 4v2 it's it's supposed to be like super easy there's literally no reason for you to do any other plan that that super easy strategy there's no reason for you to try to pull any any like crazy stuff or going to their base that's like taking unnecessary risks for no reason i feel like so we got those games down uh frog do you have anything you haven't said anything Hello, frog. 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 A little froggy. Frogger. Have you ever? Uh, have you actually ever played Frogger? Who? Have you? Uh, have you ever played Frogger? Oh uh, yeah. The game that has a uh, hello, little green dude, go against some cars. Yeah, I've, I've played it before. And some crocodiles. There, there's some crocodiles in the back of the map. Are you streaming right now? I like to VC, but I won't disturb you in the moment if you are. Come in. Okay, um, I will also ask, um, hello, hello, ni, ni Nintendo Bayo ha, 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 that, that's the absolutely horrible way to pronounce it, uh, I'm sorry. Have you, have you played any tricolor games, uh, because we, we're needing some tricolor replay codes uh, for VOD review. So if you have some, please send them away. That would be nice. Also, hello. Is he alive? Are they alive? Hello! Microphone issues. No microphone. Okay, so here's here's what I'm gonna do. While we wait and maybe get some more codes from uh, New Nintendo Bay and maybe Frog and whoever else, I'm gonna play some tricolor games um, with the zinc with with just the, with the mini because I like the mini, and I will show you guys the strat that I'm recommending for uh, tricolor. Frog, do you wanna join? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll make a room. I'm still in the match right now, though. Okay, well, then I'll do it alone. And I will, um... Because that's that's also kind of better, I guess, because since I'm not with um, a teammate, uh, I'm not in VC with them, I can basically show that it can work without coordination. Hopefully we get an attacking team, uh, or def I actually, no, wait, actually defending team is also good because I want to showcase some stuff there. Hopefully we get one of both, that would be very cool. Uh, maybe the problem is that Discord is not selecting the correct microphone. Uh, or maybe it is something. Maybe you need to unplug, replug, something. I don't know. Uh, what the heck? Hello! Wait, does it work? Yep. Oh, okay. Um. That green ring just wasn't appearing, so I was like freaking out for a while. Do, 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 do. So, currently I'm doing VOD review. Um, now I'm playing matches. Uh, I'm gonna try to play one of defending team and one of attacking team as part of VOD review just to showcase how to play. So, here's what's gonna happen defending team. So, I am the Zinc 
No, I'm not the same. I it's called the me. I the people use whatever. Um, so now what I'm doing is I, I'm painting. I'm making it very hard for them to get in. Right, that guy, he has to go on the other side, and it's annoying for them because if they get on that side, on that side there's a very easy sight line for my teammates to fire from. And now that I'm on there, I can just rain down and make it annoying. Right, that guy is not getting in. They're definitely not able to do anything right now. Because um, here's the thing. There, you've got worse sight lines. Because uh, you cannot fire through the pillar and you don't have any reason to fire there. Because that's your side, uh, since it's, it's a drop down. Um, so you, you mainly want to fight enemies when they're there. And in the beginning of the match, you want to force enemies to go there by firing from here, if you have enough range. Uh, so that's what I did. Also, currently the people are coming in. So here, see? The, I, I need to back off and stay at my maximum range so that the person doesn't come. Uh, I think that guy was trying to pop the... Now I focus on the other side. I'm dead. Okay. I got two people though. Uh, 3v3 should be good. We have more paint. Uh, Team Spicy is definitely struggling because I'm painting over them. Um, I will paint base real quick. Okay. Seems uh, painting a little bit better. That's good. Uh, my climb up. Let's check what's happening there. Ooh, ooh, someone getting close. Just scare them with paint, right? I'm not necessarily gonna kill them. Just make it. Don't care, don't care. Good, that's good. They're fighting. You like them fighting? That makes, that makes it less hard for us to get them off. Because they're getting themselves off uh, alone. Oh, they got it. Okay, whatever. That's fine. And here's the thing. The sprinkler, it does nothing. I can literally paint over it very easily. And here's the thing. There's a freaking pillar in the middle. <laughs> that prevents it to paint on a good chunk, actually. Um, so, yeah. It's not very... Okay. I killed Team Spicy. I can focus on Team Sweet for now. I haven't focused on them a lot. So, yeah. What you're supposed to do is just go back and forth. Team Spicy, Team Sweet. Team Spicy, Team Sweet. I mean, I guess whichever team is attacking for you. Right? Just using those names because that's what I'm used to. Hello. Wait, 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 you need to die, thank you. You too, okay, good, you too, great. We got them as easy kills. And I think we got the win. I think if you look at the HUD, yes, we got a lot of paint, so that's good. Um, and hopefully, uh, the next game is gonna be an attacking team game. That way I can showcase some stats for that too. Okay. What are people saying in the server? Uh, keep going, okay. Some lag. I'll use my burst bombs also. Or not, I guess. It's not necessarily that useful. I, I feel like it consumes a bit too much of my inter. I don't like that. I feel like the only real use is if you have... Oh, attacking team. That's good. That's what I wanted. I feel like the only real use for me currently for the burst bombs, at least like whenever I'm playing uh, on this specific map on Tricolor, is like whenever I got enough of an ink tank and I'm really trying to escape and and it's the only way. But other ones, I, I don't know. It's not. It's not like charging takes a long time either. 
maybe poking, I guess. I don't know. If you want to finish a heal, that guy got too close. He dropped in before pain. So you really want to pain before going in. No, 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 no. You're rushing too much. He's gonna die. Oh no. Okay. Can I assist? Nope. I can get there in time. Um, st st stop rushing in. I'm gonna say this way. Hopefully he doesn't rush in. No, don't rush in. Okay, just pressure them. See, that's the spot I'm taking. The second one uh, that has high ground. You can also stand on that block. Makes it easy. See, didn't get... Oh, okay, fine. I'll use my hammer. Give a little bit more pressure. I'm not gonna think that... Oh. The one thing I was gonna do, whenever you're hammering down, is stop before the ultra signal. Because if you get it, if you grab it, you, you drop your hammer. And that's not what you want to do. You want to keep the pressure on. Oh, Team Spicy is fine, I guess. That's annoying. Oh, Tendon Missiles are the worst special for, like, collaborating with the, with the other attacking team. Because it just fires at them also, right? And that just causes too much disruption. It prevents anyone from playing. No, this way, this way. That guy's rushing and he's gonna die again. See? It's not good. We need to paint base a bit, also. We're definitely struggling right now. I have my hammer. Why is that guy rushing in so much? Stop rushing, dude. There's not enough paint on the map for you to do that. And those guys are setting some very well placed bombs. What is that guy doing? Hello there. And it, look at it, he's just rushing and dying. Because of course he would do that. That's what he's been doing for the rest of the match. Ah. Tender missiles, very annoying. Very not, very not a good special if you want to collaborate. Let's see. Okay, so here's here's one thing I, I I will say right now that I'm noticing. If you do not want to lose, because right now I do feel like Team Sweet is gonna win. If you do not want to be the annoying person to just just be the, the party pooper and make yourself lose and the other attacking team lose at the same time and just help the defending. Like, Phantom Missiles is the worst special. It just makes the defending team win if you're using it as an attacking team. Um, don't use it. Just, just, just don't. I don't know why I went for it. Uh, didn't want to go there. But sure, fine. Look at that guy ju just walking in the background. <laughs> I think he was the one to make it lag. Oh, darn. Wow. I can definitely say with with good confidence that this was the fault of the Tenta Missiles user. He just, he just pre prevented us from doing anything. Yeah, or right, I mean, at least if you're using tandem missiles, um, I guess I, I guess I'm gonna do one more, uh, hoping that I get attacking again, um, and not with the same teammate though, because uh, they keep rushing in, and this is not good. Uh, no friends. Whoop! Bright color. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, if, if you have tandem missiles, at least just make extra sure that you're not firing them at the other attacking team, right? Because you gotta remember, if you kill the other attacking team members, well, first off, you're wasting your special on them, kind of. Um, and then, that, that means two less people fighting at the defending team, right? That means you're gonna do a 2v4 or p possibly a 2v5 or 6. Impossible. You cannot win this. Do not make it harder for yourself. This... Don't. Just... Am I attacking? Yes, I am. Okay, this is good. Make sure to keep in mind that the other attacking team are kind of your teammates. Kind of, right? Do not attack them if you can prevent it. Um... Okay, okay. The other player is playing a backline. This is great. That means they're not gonna rush in, which is good. 
that they know. I, I mean, I hope that means that they know. Or you're not gonna get one. You're in the middle of a slope. You're in the middle of a ramp, and you cannot get into your ink on that ramp. So I'm gonna win. Um, because I'm paying attention to the ramp. That guy trying to get up the slope. Nope. I'm not gonna let him. This is my slope. And I'm gonna paint at your base and make it annoying for you guys. So see, that's what I was saying earlier. Okay, good. Save my teammate there. Defend them, defend them. Okay, good. Oh, oh, oh. How am I surviving all of this? Not... Okay, whatever. Using hammer to capitalize on the pressure I'm already having. Maybe that sniper I can get him too. Let's go. We're doing, we're doing great. We're doing great. We got one sprinkler on either side of the map. That's good. So see, it's, it's not very hard for either team to win. As long as, as you don't have like your teammate rushing in, I guess. Or that the defending team is too good while you're rushing in. Um, but I always like I, I feel like this map is very well balanced for either either side. Um, out. They can take can. Uh, dude, I just have a 333 x battle. Uh, like you're doing it right now? Yeah, I just got it. Okay, well, tell me how it goes. Um. Yeah. Uh, I might panic and screw this up. Oh shit. It, it's fine. It's fine. Do, do, just focus, you'll tell me whenever it's done. I'll let you do that. Anyways, um, so yes, finishing up our game. So as I was I say, as I was saying during the the VOD review. Dude, I'm um, yeah, j j just focus on it. Don't worry. Um, anyways, as I was saying during the VOD review, like staying in that area, right? If you, as the attacking team, can secure that area, you can basically rain down. Uh, paints on the side like see all that paint we have just from being hit there on high ground compared to the enemy the, the defending team spawn we can just prevent them from getting in that it's so easy there's literally literally very easy nothing they can do about it really. um, it, yeah I have nothing to add you just need to play the game correctly we should I mean, I know it's dumb to say that, but yeah, it's very easy. Chairmage says, people look like they're, they die a lot quicker in 3 having never played it. Um, yeah. Yeah. That was an easy game. Uh, get the bag. Yes, indeed. Get it for Team Sour. <laughs> Wish me good luck. One minute left. Yep. You, you, you got it. You got it. Just don't rush in too much. You know. You know. Yes, the I have not died a single time. I'm doing good. That's good. And yeah, the results for this game: 19 kills, uh, one death. So we also did good on our side. And I wasn't even paying left. attention that in, much, right? Rush in. Okay. Yep, staying safe is the best way to play because then you're not dead, so you can fire more paint, which is good in Splatoon. Yes, I'm doing good. If I win this, this is a big step for our team. Yeah. Focus, focus. Oh my god, I'm gonna win. Pop off. Oh my god, I won. Let's go. That, that, that was not quite a pop off, that was more like so much pressure relieving. Anyways, yeah. Now we get to That's cool. Very nice. Oh, now you're gonna get the thing over your name, so that's that's nice. And it's not the 100x one, it's the 333x one. Poggers. There's a slight difference on it. 
Oh, yes. Oh my god, I'm very happy. That's cool. Fly going through so, yes. 4,000 clout, what the fuck? Ooh. Well, yeah. Imagine, imagine having the 333, but then you're matching with your teammate. Oh my gosh, just the, just the amount. Like, imagine what you got doubled. It's a new one. Like... Oh wait, I get to take a picture now. A picture? What do you mean? Oh, <gasps> yeah, you can take a picture. No way. Oh my gosh, I want to do that. I need to win some too. Um. Okay, I guess. Um, are we? Okay, let me just let me just give my final thoughts on uh, VOD review before I I'm probably uh, gonna finish. get off in like a few minutes. Yeah, that's fine. That's but fine. Tomorrow, but basically, yeah, let's, hopefully, you can win. Uh, what is it? Three a hundred X battle with me. Yep. Oh yeah, now I can board the float. Yes, that's yeah. It's Do pretty this. cool. Anyways, anyways, let me give my finishing thoughts on VOD review. So yes, Wait, if um, you win a three hundred thirty-three X, it's not. It's the big float. Wait, there's a difference? Oh wait, no, never mind. It's because it's uh, half past half time, and that's why. Okay. Um, yes, the main thing that you want to care about whenever you do, you're fighting tricolor, uh, as either the attacking team or the defending team, is securing the area around the pillars. Uh, whenever you're on defending, it's going to be the side that's closer to the middle. Whenever you're on the attacking team, it's going to be the side that's closer to the edge of the pillars. Uh, but either way, the pillars are pretty important to secure, um, and they're not—they're not that hard. You—you you, you just really need to play the game in order. You don't want to rush in. You don't want to try to Should I some crazy the, strats. The, um, review for the you know like uh, replay code for the 333x battle so you can see. Yeah, I guess, I guess you can send it and and for later. Um, but, but yeah, okay. Focus on the pillars. Um, do not try as a defending team to go too far into the attacking team's base. It's most likely useless uh, most of the time. Um, same thing as, as the attacking team. You don't really want to ever get too close to the other team's side, nor do you want to try to rush in. Um, play the pillars. Play the pillars. That's the best thing that you can do. Um, and on that note, I think we are done. I think we've done good, good rod, rod review. So, um, uh, goodbye. I guess. Bye. And um, bye. Yeah. And now we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna play. Just I'm gonna play the game. Uh, bye. Well, not really bye. I'm just saying bye for the vod review, guys, for YouTube. Um. <laughs> Do 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 do